Hi, I'm going to show you how to easily password protect a Google Form so you can keep people that you don't want populating your data out of your Google Form. So first thing you need to do is create a new form and your very first question should be the password. So for the question title, I'll just title it password. And please Make sure that this is a text question, and then go down here where it says data validation, click on that, check the box. You want to make this regular expression, contains matches, and here's where you have to put your password in. But before you type it, you need to do the caret, whatever password you want. and then end with a dollar sign. So right in here, it is case sensitive, so make sure you type exactly like you want the password to be. On the custom error text, this is where I would just put in, this is what someone will see if they put in the wrong word. Most importantly, make this a required question. That way they can't skip by it. Everything will be set up. This will be the first question they see. But in order to get past it, you really want to have all of your quiz on another page. So right down at the bottom where it says Add Item, if you were to click the box, the drop box, go over to a page break. And then from here on out, this would be your questions. So here's your quiz. And then you can add your items. Maybe it's a text question. Huh. Not doing so well typing today. And then as you go, you would make the rest of your quiz. Now I'll show you what this looks like once you go to that live form. The first question that's going to be asked was that first password that we had set up. Now you have to remember what your password is. And we put your password here. So when I go to that live form, the first question is enter your password. I'm going to put cat in. Spell it wrong. C continue. Incorrect password. Your password here. And then that will let you go on to that quiz. A pretty easy way to make sure that your quizzes are only given to students that you want to take them, not somebody else. If you want to put a link on a website, now you can. In order to take the quiz and populate your data, they'll have to have the password. Hope that helps.